Sir Syed Ahmed Khan was born in Delhi on 17th of October 1817 to a wealthy, reputed and prominent family. By the age of 18, he was skilled in Arabic, Persian, mathematics and medicine. In 1838, he started his employment and soon raised his position to become a judge in Delhi in 1846. Same year, he wrote his famous book, Athir al Sanadi. It was on archaeology. Later, he transferred to Benjur, where during the War of Independence, he saved the life of many women and children, refused the reward often stayed from the British. He was against armed uprising slash revolt, become the chief justice in Muradabad. In 1864, he transferred to Aligarh and worked to establish the college. In 1876, he retired and devoted himself to improving the position of Muslims in the subcontinent. Aligarh became the center of Muslim Renaissance. He died on 27th of March, 1898. Improving relations between British and Muslim convincing the British, he wrote The Loyal Mohammedans of India, a detailed account of loyal services which Muslims had given to the British. He wrote Essay on the Causes of the Indian Revolt. In this, he pointed out the main reasons for the war. He also listed measures taken by the British which created resentment among the Muslim community, cleared the meaning of Nadaras, word used by Muslims for British, which the British took as an insult. Nadaras is Arabic word that means helper, convincing the Muslims. He wrote the Bayinul Kalam, in which he pointed out similarities between Islam and Christianity, established British India Association to increase cooperation between two communities, encouraging the growth of Western education. Western education was important to gain employment and to make progress in society. He emphasized that an understanding of modern scientific beliefs helped Reveal the full majesty of God. Set up an Urdu journal, Tahzibul Akhlaq, to spread his views on the importance of modern education, founded the Scientific Society. Its main purpose was to make scientific writings available to a wider market by translating them from English, Persian, or Arabic into Urdu. In 1866, began issuing a journal called the Aligarh Institute Gazette, opened schools in Muradabad in 1859 and in Ghazipur in 1864, traveled to England to study the university system there. In 1875, raised funds and opened Mohammedan Anglo-Oriental School in Aligarh, which later became Mohammedan Anglo-Oriental College. It offered Western, Indian and Islamic education. In 1886, set up the Muhammadan Educational Conference to raise educational standard among Muslims. In 1920, the college became the University of Aligarh. Increasing political awareness, emphasized on the need for cooperation with the British, emphasized on the need for the cooperation with the Hindus. Two nation theory. Hindus and Muslims were different enough to be considered as two separate groups within the subcontinent subcontinent. However, he encouraged that the two communities should work together. An organization called United Patriotic Alliance, which later became Mohammedan Defense Alliance, was set up to counter the growth of Congress, which has started to become a predominantly a Hindu political party. Hindi Urdu Controversy Urdu had a special place in the hearts of Muslim community. In 1865, the Hindus demanded that Hindi should be made the official language in the place of Urdu. It became the cause of concern for him and he opposed it. Importance Tirelessly worked to restore relations between the British and the Muslims. Played a major role in bringing Muslim revival through the Aligarh movement. 
Mustang came to value education as a means of self-improvement and better employment, developed two-nation theory. He is also called the father of the Pakistan movement.